given B and C are two non-zero digits, and the three-digit numbers formed by these two digits have the following properties. First, BCB is divisible by 7. Second, CBB is divisible by 9. Third, BBC has an odd number of factors. Find the three-digit number CCB. So the first hint that we have is B and C are non-zero digits. So that's it. So we could not use zero for B and C. Okay, so first is BCB must be divisible by 7. So recall the number it is divisible by 7 when the last digit or the ones digit, you're going to multiply it by 5 and then add the remaining number and there the sum. If it is divisible by 7, so therefore that number is divisible by 7. Okay, how about divisible by 9? So you just add the digits and if their sum is divisible by 9, then that number is divisible by 9. Okay, let's do it. So let's start with B, uh, B, C, B. So we can have B as 1, so 1. So, 1 plus 1, 2. Since the second condition says the number must be divisible by 9. Though it is CBB, but still, it is rearranged, but still their sum is the same. So, 1 plus 1, 2. So, you need 7 to get a sum of 9. Okay. So, let's check if it is divisible by 7. So, first, add multiply rather the first, the one digit or the last digit by 5 and then add the remaining number which is 17 so 1 times 5 is 5 plus 17 that is 22 22 is not divisible by 7 so therefore 171 is not divisible by 7 so it does not satisfy the first condition Okay, let's try another number. Still 1, 1. But 1, 1. Then the next number, the sum that is divisible by 9 is after 9, that is 18. So if you have 1 and 1, so 2, you need 16. But 16 is 2 digit number. The middle term here, or the middle number must be 1 digit. So there is no other partner for 2 ones. Okay, let's proceed to 2. Okay, 2, then you have our 2. Okay, so 2 plus 2 is 4, so you need 5 to get a sum of 9, since 9 is divisible by 9. And then, therefore, if you have your CBB, CBB is 5, 2, 2, 5, 2, 2 is definitely divisible by 9. So, let's check if 252 is divisible by 7. So, first you get the last digit, which is 2, multiplied by 5, then add it by the remaining number, which is 25. 2 times 5 is 10, plus 25, which is 35. Yes, 35 is divisible by 7. In fact, when 35 divided by 7, that is 5. So, meaning 252 is divisible by 7. Okay, so first condition is satisfied and also the second condition. Now, let's proceed to the third condition. It says here, BBC. BBC, that is 225. Has an odd number of factors. Okay, to get the number of factors, first you get the prime factors for 225. So, let's use prime factorization. So, 2 to 5, the, you factor it with using the prime numbers. or So, sub prime number 2, that is not divisible by 2 is, 2 to 5 is not divisible by 2. So, proceed to 3. Yeah? Two, two, 225 is divisible by 3 and their quotient is 75. Okay? And then... 75 divisible by 3 also. 75 divided by 3, that is actually 25. 
Okay, and 25 is divisible by 5. 25 divided by 5, that is 5. So, meaning to say, the 225, the final factors are 3 times 3 times 5 times 5. Or in exponential form, 3 squared times 5 squared. We need to express that into exponential form because we need to use that in finding the number of factors. How? Okay, getting the exponent. First, the first base or the first factor, prime factor, which is 3, with an exponent of 2. So, you will just add it by 1. This is a formula class. This is a shortcut formula. And then, the second um, exponent, which is uh, so also 2 for the base 5 or for the factor 5. So, just add the same thing, 1. So, 2 plus 1 is 3. Uh, then times 3, that is 9. So, 225 has 9 factors. Actually, you can check. Okay. So, from 3. So, you can have, let's enumerate. 1, 3. You can have also 5. You can have also 15. You can have also 25. You can have 75. You can have... How many? Six. So definitely locking other numbers. So six. Oh, yeah. Also nine. Nine. And then we could have also. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Okay. You can have also, yeah, 45. 75, then 225. So, there are nine factors. So, meaning, the CCB is, CCB, C is 5. And then another C, 5, B is 2. So, the three-digit number, CCB is 552.